The NHS is at breaking point. It's one of the best health services in the world, but is increasingly failing too many people for too much of the time. It's neither the health service the government promised, nor that which patients rightly expect. The government is in denial. The health and social care system simply will not cope without urgent action to recognise and address the funding and staffing crisis across England. That's why the BMA is calling on the government to take immediate action to increase the UK's health spending in line with similar economies such as France and Germany. The 10 leading European economies spend, on average, 10.4% of their gross domestic product on health compared to the UK's 9.8%. The UK is the third largest of these economies and should have a health service to match. Closing this gap would mean an extra £10.3 billion a year was available to the NHS. To put that into context, if just half was invested in hospital beds, it could pay for an extra 35000 every day. Just £3 billion could fund a transformational increase in the number of GPs by 10,000, along with their staff and premises. The repeated raids on the public health budget could be reversed, providing investment rather than the reductions of around 4% a year proposed until at least 2020. This is not to say that increasing the UK's health spend to 10.4% of GDP is the only answer. The BMA has consistently highlighted the shortfall in health funding and the impact this is having on patient care. Which is why we're also repeating our call for the £30 billion black hole facing the NHS over the next few years in England to be filled and for STPs to be adequately funded. Services remain at breaking point. It's time for the government to act.